What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 4v4 SD gameplay on the map Sovereign. It was from a GB. Don't remember their ranks. Pretty sure they disputed against us, though. I kind of remember their gamer tags. Um, I'm just bringing you the first five to eight minutes of it, depending on how long this commentary goes, just because the rest of it got kind of boring and slow. So enjoy that. And uh, basically, today's topic is just kind of going over how my trip went. You know, most of you know that I took a flight up to Maryland slash Pennsylvania area to um, originally go to a gaming land, but it got canceled five days before the event. Yes, you guys have already heard this, but um, I went up there anyway and had some fun. So basically, I'm just gonna give you guys a, a recap of what happened. So um, I had to get up early for my flight. We we went the cheap way and got connection flights, so that means it's longer flights because we have to be at airports for a couple hours in between and everything, and it's annoying to do, but it's worth it for the money. But um, I got up, I don't know, like 5 o'clock to get ready. We left somewhere around 6 or 7, I don't know, something like that. Caught our flight. It was a nice flight. Um, everybody's real nice. Everything was on time and everything. Uh, going through security is always scary. If you guys have ever been flying, I don't know, security just creeps me out i'm worried they'll stop me or something for some weird reason um after the flight we went to the rental car place got our car uh they were real nice there as well everybody was really nice on this trip it was really it was almost weird um but yeah i will say that by the end of this trip i now can probably drive if, if i were to be driving i could drive better in the uh maryland pennsylvania area I could drive better there than in Texas because I know those roads better now because I had to navigate for my mom and everything and it was weird. We got lost so many times, but we finally figured it out in the end. But um, we, un or, this, this was kind of my fault. I forgot to charge my phone like an idiot, so my phone was dead. I couldn't call Levi. We were supposed to meet him after my flight to go to a movie. I finally found a McDonald's with a Wi-Fi spot and I got on my computer and Skyped to him. Um, he couldn't make it anymore that day, so we went and watched the movie Noah instead by ourselves uh, just for the night, and then we, were, we decided to meet up with him the next day, which would be Saturday, and we would go to a movie then. Uh, the Noah movie was, I don't know, it was alright. Um, there were some problems with it. Like, I don't know, for some reason it, was, it seemed like some scenes were out of focus. I don't know if it was just at that, that theater, but it seemed really out of focus and it was giving me a headache. That was my main complaint also. I guess if you want to get critical with it, there were definitely, like if you guys have read the Bible or whatever, you don't even have to be religious, but if you have read it, you know that there's discrepancies in it. I don't really care. It's a Hollywood movie. Obviously, they're going to take liberties with it, but you know, it was it was okay overall, but it, it was whatever. Um, I think we went to Taco Bell after that. Oh, actually, before, before we went to Taco Bell, that we saw the giant snow pile outside, and we don't see snow in Texas, so... I went and stopped around in that for a little bit, and everybody was staring at me funny, like, what, you've never seen snow before kind of things, but it was whatever, it was fun. Went to Taco Bell, then drove back really late, got lost several times again, and I believe this was actually when the cop pulled us over, because, okay, there was a circle in the middle of the road. Like, we don't have circles in the middle of the road in Texas. Like, this weird circle with, like, roads going through it, and roads curving around it, and yield signs everywhere. It was so confusing. We got lost several times around there, and this cop started following us. And we're like, okay, he's following us. So we pulled off into like a vacant parking lot or whatever, and then he pulled off, pulled over, and then he put his lights on and stopped us. And he seemed to not really believe us at first that we were from Texas flying up here to meet a friend, but he eventually caught on. And then he gave us directions, and he actually took a shortcut to where he told us to go to see if we actually got there because we saw him as we passed later on. And I guess he had he either it was a weird coincidence or he was still just trying to make sure. But it was it was kind of funny. Um, hotel was not, not the greatest. There was a box TV. The floor was uneven, but it was a good place to crash for the night. It was it was an all right hotel. the The service was good. They were nice. It was clean and everything. But the floor freaked me out. I don't I don't know why. It was just uneven and weird. Um, next day we slept in, watched some TV. We went to meet Levi. Um, I finally got to meet him, although we got lost again going back to the same theater, and I don't know how, but we were like 20, 30 minutes late to the movie, so I was pretty actually stressed out because I'm nervous when I meet people, even though I've known Levi for a long time now, but I don't know, I just got nervous about it, and so we come in late, and then after the movie, we watched Divergent, by the way, uh, that was a really good movie, we went to a Chinese buffet place, and we started talking, 
surprisingly, my mom and his mom hit it off really well. They connected really well. Um, you know, it was it was a good experience. I think we talked for a good three or four hours at the place. The Chinese people were probably tired of us sitting there talking. They probably wanted us to leave or whatever, but they had plenty of tables, so it, was, it wasn't a big deal or anything. But, um, yeah, we talked a lot. Parents gave embarrassing stories, you know, from childhood and everything, things that parents do. But um, it was it was pretty fun. We got a few pictures. You guys might have seen some of them on Twitter already. Um, let's see. Also, then we drove back to the hotel. It was late again. We got lost again. Somehow we, we, we'd get lost at different places. Like, there were roads with the same names, and we would go down them, and they were the wrong ones. So I've, I've got, like, the path memorized now where to go. Like, the problem was we kept going down, like, a different old York road or something. There was, like, a thousand of those up there for some reason. So that was weird. Got back to the hotel. Went to sleep pretty quick. I was exhausted by then. Um, we Then the next day, it was raining. It had actually been raining most of this trip, but it wasn't too bad until this day. We were going to go down to Washington, D.C. Um, I've already been there. My mom hasn't, so we were just going to kind of see. But there wasn't really... Anyway, it was just raining too much, so we tried to go to the aquarium. We got lost going to the aquarium and wound up back at the rental car place. We're like, no, we're not. We're doing something. So we went to the the mall and bought some stuff. It was actually a really nice mall. It was better than one than the um, the mall where I'm at. It was it was a nice one. Had I got a pretzel thing from one of the stores there. Got some stuff, some books, uh, some movies, stuff like that. Just bought some stuff. Um, then we went to the plane after we turned in our rental car, which was a little bit of a hassle because I was trying to find my phone and everything, but it was fine. And tried to get on the plane and, you know, it was another connection flight. It was late at night. And on one of them, the TSA people were checking each individual person's ID and there was like four of them and it was really weird. I think they were trying to find somebody. So that was really nerve wracking, but the flight was great. It was um, a little weird. It seemed to take longer than the other ones for some reason. I don't know why, but it was all right. Got back, told my brother about everything, and then passed out and went to sleep. So yeah, that was pretty much my trip in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe if you didn't. Then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.